everyone welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i will be documenting my first experience using spirit airlines i have used um, a budget airline in the past i've used frontier i didn't really have much issues with it but i hear so many bad things about spirit airlines so i am hoping i can have an easy sailing so I am not checking in a bag I'm not carrying on a bag I'm going to be using my trusty book bag as a personal item I was able to use this bag as a personal item with frontier so I'm hoping the same will be said for spirit oh, I'm kind of nervous so, as you can see, this is how the bag looks. The bag is very heavy. <laughs> so, we'll see. And I also want to show you my fit because I don't know if you noticed, I have a lot of stuff in my pockets. I couldn't fit everything in my bag this time. So I have this trusty jacket that has inside pockets and you may have seen a bulge, which I'm hoping the flight, you know, the airline reps don't see. I have not one, but two. Two fanny packs <laughs> so that's why I'm wearing black and everything because I feel like it shows less so we'll see how this goes I also have my GoPro out I might be um, filming at the airport so that's why I have this out so let me put on this book bag so you can see how I all look, how I'm going to look when I use my phone to scan um, my ticket in. All right. Had to use my legs. So wish me luck as I take my first Spirit Airlines flight. I just went through TSA, so I am going to go to my gate and film again when I get on the plane. So everything has been smooth sailing so far. I, um, I am only using my phone to like board the plane. I'm not using any assistance, like airport assistance, because that does cost money. Um, so just a heads up. They do let you know at the time of booking. I think it's like maybe $10 or so per, per way um, for airport assistance. So if you want to save money, just download the app and get your boarding pass on your phone. All right, let's head to the gate. All right, so I am at the gate. It's, um, what time is it? Maybe like 7 p.m. Um, so I came really early. It's, the flight departs at 9.15. PM. So I'm just waiting right now. There's not a lot of people. Um, yeah, there's not a lot of people. So we'll see if my bag 
will take. So this is how I look. This is how my bag looks. Alright. Hopefully I don't have any problems or anything. I saw people with bigger bags, so it may I may be okay. I really hope I am. So yeah, let's see if I make it on the flight without um, having to pay extra. Fingers crossed. As you can see, it's pretty empty right now. Not a lot of people, barely any people actually. So that's why it was $50. That's why it went down to $50 because they needed more people on the flight. <laughs> again okay never 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 ever 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 never again i will i will not be using spirit and let me tell you why so my first flight was totally okay it wasn't delayed it did have some you know cheap seats where when i first walked to my seat my leg just tap the cushion and it came off. <laughs> I was like, oh. <laughs> but you know, it's spirit. It's cheap. I'm okay with that. I can deal with it. You know, the flight itself was relatively smooth. There was no like specific issues. Um, it took off and it landed pretty nicely. Like there was like nothing out of the ordinary with it so it was it was fine for me the issue that i had was my returning flight so i was supposed to return back to st louis on saturday at 3 p.m so i wake up saturday morning with an email a notif notification from spirit and an email from spirit saying that my flight was disrupted and um, so I was like, uh, what is disrupted? I never heard of that term. Like, is it delayed? Is it canceled? But it did say like, your flight has been dis disrupted. Do you want um, a refund or a credit, a flight credit? And then it showed like the customer service number. So I called customer service. Basically they told me it was canceled. I had three options. Um, I could reschedule my flight, I could get a flight credit, or I could um, get a refund. So I asked, when can I um, reschedule my flight? When, when is the next available flight to St. Louis? And they said, Thursday. Thursday. Mind you, I'm supposed to leave Saturday. 
So that's five days, five days until the next available flight. Were they going to pay for my lodging, my food, my transportation? I don't think so. <laughs> for the next five days, I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> so of course, I asked for a refund because I'm not going to be using Spirit again, so I don't need no flight credit. So my refund was like $38 or something like that. 30, yeah. So I had to look for a same day flight. Um, I was able to find one with Southwest. It cost like over $300, like $310, $315 for, you know, same day, one way flight, nonstop luckily. Um, and I got the one in the evening because there was like some that were early, earlier on, but I couldn't make it of course, because I just woke up in the morning. <laughs> I didn't have time to, you know, get to the airport and all that type of stuff. So yeah, in the end, what I recommend you know, flying with spirit. I personally will not fly with it again just because of my experience, but the flight itself was not bad. Like, it's not like they're, the pilots are untrained. It's not like the plane felt unsafe or anything like that. So the flight itself was fine, but if your flight gets canceled, if it gets delayed, you know, they don't have as many options as other airlines to, you know, rebook or reschedule on the same day or the next day or things like that. So do with this information as you will, as you wish. If you haven't had problems with Spirit, you know, great for you. Continue using Spirit. You're saving a lot of money. But in the end, I ended up spending more money than I could have because my flight got canceled and I had to rebook a same day flight. If I booked earlier, you know, with Southwest or with another airline, I probably would have saved, you know, at least $100. Um, and it would have been like if my flight got canceled, I probably could have found another flight that same day or the next day and it wouldn't have been too bad. Cause it's not like St. Louis was having bad weather or anything. They never gave us a reason um, as to why our flight was canceled. So I don't know. But anyways, that was my experience with Spirit Airlines. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. So see you in the next video. Also, I forgot to mention, I was able to go on my one and only Spirit flight without having to pay for my carry-on or, you know, yeah, to pay for my, my personal item. I thought it was going to be too big. The airline people did like look at it, but they, they didn't say anything. So yeah, I was able to get on with all my stuff, with all my fanny packs and stuff in my pockets. And yeah, I didn't have any problems with that. So that was a plus. But anyways, it don't matter because I'm not going to use Spirit again. So yeah, just wanted to point that out. <laughs>